With that said, Lida turned and walked slowly away, her feet kicking up dust motes as she went. Scout watched her go, his mouth open wide with shock. He had no idea what to do next, until a moan from Gallo brought him out of his reverie. Gallo needed whatever help he could give him now, and as for Lida, that will have to wait till later. The scout now turned and lowered his head towards Gallo, he caught a few words he was able to shape. From my back, the bag had a needle in it. Gallo was barely able to utter the words, fetch it, please, there may be something that can help. The scout immediately stood upright and dashed back to the outcrop. Gallo had taken off the backpack whilst cutting wood and left it up there. The scout was uncertain which bag the needle had come from and he was in a hurry to bring it to Gallo as soon as possible. When the scout made it to where the backpack lay, he grabbed it up without searching the bag that Gallo had in asked for. This moment of crisis would better bring it all and waste time searching through the backpack. The scout then, a little bit more carefully, ran back to where Gallo lay in agony. All the time, the scout was being careful not to damage the backpack and its possible special cargo. The scout approached Gallo. It started to shudder and was not looking good. I brought the whole backpack. I'm sorry, I didn't know which bag had the needle in it, the scout apologised to Gallo. I'll empty the pack out when I get to the right bag. Let me know. The scout then proceeded to quickly empty the pack, which, although it contained many items, they were well positioned within the pack to enable them to be lifted out easily. The fourth bag the scout came across seemed to be the one that Gallo was wanting, and it was quickly opened. Gallo fumbled for one of the syringes and indicated for it to be injected into his arm. Both Gatherer and Bernard looked towards Scout. Neither of them were prepared to use the device, and as Gallo looked incapable at the moment of injecting himself, Scout attempted to give Gallo an injection. As the plunger was depressed, the clear liquid disappeared into Gallo's arm, and Gallo slowly relaxed. Thank you, Gallo uttered a few moments later. What happened to me? Your body has been punctured several times by thorns from the flame bush. Until I gave you the thing from your bag, you were going to die. I am still going to die, unless we can do something about the poison, Gallo answered. The injection merely contained a painkiller. A good one, but just a painkiller nonetheless. Unless we make an antidote to the poison, I will die, just like the others died from the flame bush. The painkiller will give me a clearer mind for a little while, and the pain in the muscle cramps in the stomach are eased somewhat, but they will be back. Very well. Please tell me which thing in this bag will cure the poison and I will give it to you, Scout responded, now starting to feel panic welling up inside him again. 